I'm going to tell you a story. The story begins with a map. It is a life map that the artist made. It was of her life and her journey. Things happened to her along the way, and her losses made her sad. But out of the sadness rose the need in her to return to her roots, her art, for she had always been an artist, but her life had been full with the joys and love and family that she had forgotten it for a while. So her journey begins here with this map, where she had found her place to start on a quest of the intentional creation of a life. In the quiet of a studio day, she heard a voice, and it was that of a bird, one whom she had not met before, as birds had told her stories in the past. The woman who was an artist listened, and the bird led her to the refuge site. They discussed that there must have been a man who had passed, and his things were tossed away with no care. They felt that there was a soul in those things, and they took that day many pieces that spoke to them. The woman who was an artist began to see forms in them, and they slowly grew to be new things with old souls, and then they began to have a life of their own. The intentional creation of a life was born that day. The woman journeyed on her way and visited the refuge place often, developing a relationship with the crew as well as asking questions and learning stories along the way. The woman had burning questions and outrage at all of the garbage that was not garbage. There was an array of furniture and kitchen items, toys and clothes, a woolen blanket and many drawers, so much wood that the artist and the woman asked, what can I do with these things? The woman learned much from her conversations with the folk there. Many made a living from what they collected and turned into cash. Therefore, the woman now had a dilemma, a place where there was so much waste. If she upset the delicate balance, then the people that were making their living there would not be able to support their families. So the artist woman decided that through the reuse and making of art from the refuge, she could tell the story of waste and hope to have many hear her and become more conscious of what they threw away and maybe they would now see to donate more and put less in the landfill. The things that no one wants any longer, that could be put to some use, and there the bird came to her and cawed and cawed the message was one of art. The boxes can become the vehicle by which the woman could tell the sad story of the refuge and lack of concern as a population. And the artist heard the story of the intentional creation of a life. The woman learned to use her talents and took it into printmaking where she could illustrate the story of the woman and the bird and the ascension up from the refuge to answers. Along the way, the woman and the bird merged their ideas and the painting of the dump developed. The refuge at the bottom, the gray of the middle land, and yet above where the birds fly, there was a wondrous landscape to juxtapose the refuge and misuse of the land. The artist has taken up the path of the woman and her journey will continue to her home and landfill residency possibilities, as well as gallery presentation to reach the bigger public with her work. This is only the beginning, and the woman and the artist are me. And the bird did say those things, and in life one has to be open to the possibilities.